find the first four terms of the power series solution for the initial value problem, y double prime minus 2y prime plus y equals x, y of 0 equals 0, y prime of 0 equals 1. Now, to proceed, we assume that we have a solution in power series form. So we'll write that as y of x equals a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus a3x cubed, and so on. And here we only care about the first four terms. Now, we'll take that solution, push it through our initial value problem. When we do that, we'll be able to find as many a's as we need. Now, if we want to take the derivative of the power series, the rule is going to be we do that term by term. So y prime is going to be equal to a1 plus 2a2x plus 3a3x squared, and so on. And then I can stop there because we don't need to get more than the a3. Then we take another derivative to get y double prime. And so we work that out. And then we're going to push things through our ODE. So if we line up all of our constant terms, what do we have? So from y double prime, we get 2a2. From minus 2y prime, we're going to have minus 2a1. And then from y, we're just going to get an a0. On the other side, okay, we only have an x. So the constant term on the right side is going to be equal to 0. So that's going to give us what we call equation 1. 2a2 minus 2a1 plus a0 equals 0. If we line up our x terms, what do we have? From y double prime, we get 6a3. Minus 2y prime is going to give us minus 4a2. And then y is going to give us just an a1. On the other side, we have an x. So that's going to contribute a 1. So I have 6a3 minus 4a2 plus a1 is equal to 1. Call that equation 2. Now. For the initial conditions, if we put 0 into here, we're going to be left with a0. So we'll have a0 is equal to 0. For y prime, if we put 0 into here, we're left with a1. So a1 is going to be equal to 1. Now, with these two, we could put them into equation 1. That's going to give us that a2 is equal to 1. And then with a1 and a2, we could put them into equation 2. That'll give us that a3 is equal to 2 thirds. So our answer is yx is equal to 0 plus x plus x squared plus 2 thirds x cubed, and so on. So that's going to be our first four terms. Now, of course, we want to check our work. So here we'll use the annihilator method. So first part here is we're going to take a look at what happens when I let the x be equal to 0. So we're going to solve the homogeneous equation. If we find the characteristic polynomial here, that's going to give us r squared minus 2r plus 1, set it equal to 0. So we're going to have the root equal to 1 with multiplicity 2. So the general solution for the homogeneous part is going to be y equals a e the x plus bx e the x. Now, for the particular part, what are we going to do? Take a look at x. So this is going to be a solution of y double prime equals 0. So that means we're going to have, okay, on this side, the roots for the characteristic polynomial are going to be 0 with multiplicity 2. And then there's no overlap for the roots on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. So our particular solution is going to be the form cx plus d. Now, if I put that back into the left-hand side, what are we going to get? Well, second derivative of cx plus d is going to be 0. The first derivative is going to be c, so we get a minus 2c. And then we just add our cx plus d, so that's the y. We set that equal to x. What comes out? We'll have c equals 1, d equals 2. So our particular solution is going to be x plus 2. So, General solution for the initial value problem is going to be a e the x plus bx e the x plus x plus 2. Now, if we put in y0 equals 0 and y prime of 0 equals 1, 
We'll get the particular solution. Y equals minus 2e to the x plus 2xe to the x plus x plus 2. To check our work, I'm just going to expand the e to the x into a power series. And then we'll put terms together. Now, put the x plus 2 up in front. Then we have minus 2, 1 plus x, plus x squared over 2, plus x cubed over 6, and then so on, plus 2x. And then I'm just going to take this part here, multiply through by an x. So I'll have x plus x squared plus x cubed over 2, and then we won't need the following terms. If we match everything up, so we'll take the 2, minus 2 gives me 0. I have x minus 2x plus 2x, so I get an x. Then we'll have, okay, I'll have a minus x squared plus 2x squared gives me an x squared. And then for our x cubed term, okay, when you put it together, you're going to see you're going to have an x cubed from here and then minus a one-third x cubed from here giving me a two-thirds x cubed. So we see that this checks our work.